Oh, he's pointing at me. That means, hi, everybody. Welcome to Late Night Snack. This is Andrew in the North End of Halifax coming from his basement. And tonight we are phoning up one of my friends, the lovely Alana Harvey, and we're going to make a snack tonight. So without any further ado, uh, here is Alana Harvey. Alana, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, thanks for coming on to, to, to Late Night Snack. Yeah, happy, happy I'm doing this. All right. And uh, just uh, so the people at home know, we apologize. Apparently, everybody in the world is on the Internet right now. So we're going to try to uh, not talk over each other and allow the Internet to breathe in our conversation, uh, uh, to allow our conversation to flow. So anyway, thank you so much for coming. There we go. It was a weird player playing around. I was like, that was fake. <laughs> um Anyway, uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, anyway, Lana is one of my good friends. She also happens to be a sous chef at the canteen um, and uh, is one of the best cooks in the city as far as I'm concerned. So cheers to that. And Lana, what are you going to make for a late night snack tonight? Oh, thanks, bud. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Tears. So what are you uh, going to make tonight? I'm going to make antihitos. Um, there is a place called the Jane Bond, or there is a place called the Jane Bond back in Kitchener, and they had the most bomb antihitos, and it's Cinco de Mayo today, so I'm thinking something cheesy, something good, something ooey, something gooey. You're ticking off yeah, all the things Just have some like. fun with it. Sounds awesome. Yeah. So uh, what's, what's, you know. Yeah. Sorry, you go. <laughs> no, I did the thing I said I wasn't going to do where I was, I was getting excited and talking over you. So it's, we can blame the internet only so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so antihitos. So what, uh, what, what goes into it? What's, uh, what, what's, what's in your antihitos before we, uh, before we kick right off? Well, I'm lactose intolerant, which is really terrible. But, uh, so normally I put cream cheese in an antihito with, Lots of beautiful cheddar and whatever basic cheese you want to use. So whatever you have in your fridge is great. Uh -huh. I'm using goat's cheese, like a chevre, and then I got a goat's cheddar, which is actually from I picked it up from Noggins Rancher Acres. Oh, Rancher Acres, right on. They're great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So then I did that and then I just Threw in some garlic powder, onion powder, uh, pickled jalapenos, which is always a staple in our fridge. Awesome. Um, red peppers, salo, green pepper, lime. Just you, you can just play around with the flavor. Like I like mine a little bit more smoky, more heavy on the garlic powder. Just really yep. have fun with it. I'm pretty sure like most people have just basic wraps in their fridge, but uh, yeah. Perfect. It's super well, it easy like to make. One of those great things you can sub in this or sub in that, whatever you got going in the fridge can just go right in there. And that's, that's exactly what a good late night snack is as far as I'm concerned. Sounds awesome. So uh, you just said that you're from Kitchener, right? That's ultimately, that's originally where you're from. I am. I'm from Kitchener, Ontario. Represent. Well, hello, Kitchener. And, uh, well, hopefully your, your folks are doing, you said they were, uh, they were Hi, family. Yeah, I'll give some shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brianna McLeod from, uh, from uh, Ontario says hello from home. And, uh, I'm just. Hey, B. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, if I'm just going to uh, get on to the, uh, the comments here just to make sure that we're not missing any of the conversation. But why don't you go ahead and start to make some, uh, some antihitos. All righty. Can I show you what I'm doing? Yeah. Do so I like a liberal amount of cheese? Yes, that is a great idea. Like all over it, uh, like right to the edges. Do not forget the edges. This is also like kind of therapeutic. Uh huh. Just spreading out a cheese paste. Well, like nobody's in a rush these days. You know, you got time. Just take spread that cheese paste right yeah. to the edge. I'm just gonna put it all in. 
Because you know what? Why the heck not? I already made one just for, like, uh-huh. you know, the magic of television. Of <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> you get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The spoon was cool. better. See, you get, to play, you get to play around with your instruments as well, you know? Well, yeah, this is it. What was I doing today? I was... Do- we were uh, doing some work in the house today, and I was just walking around so satisfied. I was drinking water out of a one-liter deli uh, container, which is a very chefy <laughs> thing to do. And uh, I really, uh, oh yeah, I miss that. Let me tell you, I'm a big fan of like when I was working at a restaurant, crushed ice. You just put crushed ice in your your liter container and top her up, oh, and it's like yeah. man. Nothing more refreshing. Absolutely. Oh, wow. So here we go. I'm finally. All right. So this is like pretty good. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Marilyn Hay is waving from water. So I got like. Ha ha. Hi. (laughs) Yeah, this is great. You've expanded our audience. We're in Ontario now. Yes. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) So there's the pickled jalapenos going on there? Uh, so this was a mixture of cilantro and green onion. And then this is my red pepper and pickled Ooh. jalapeno mixture. Awesome. Yep. Oh, wow. That looks- you don't need, like, you're rolling it up pretty tight. So... Uh, I'm just reading the comments here. Comments here. It should come back. Waiting, waiting. There, you're going to be back in a sec. All right, back so sec. hold up one second. You're live. And I think we cut out, but our video is back now. So anyway, like I told you, everybody in the world is on the internet tonight. So thank you for staying with us in late night snack, because there's nothing worse than seeing somebody start a meal, but not see how they finish it. Right. Absolutely. So what I'm I'm adding to this other one are these spicy arbol chilies. Uh, whenever I go back to uh, um, Toronto, I go to this uh, Mexican uh, supply store. Yep. And uh, they have basically baskets of dried chilies out front, and that's like I always get a bit of them. I'm gonna slap a little heat in there. Get just it in extra there. Extra heat. Yep. All right, so I'm just going to go and wrap it now. This is one that's already done, but you want to make sure it's nice and tight. All right, nice and tight. So we're going to roll it up. It looks so good, Alana. And you don't want it to be like too tight because you don't want to squish all the peppers out. So it's really like, you know, it's kind of a dance with your tortilla, you know? Not too hot, not too cold. You know, there's there's a a fine line we walk every day in in the cooking industry. And, you you know, you're doing it right now. Yeah. So this one is clearly packed less. But we're going to cut her up anyways. I just trimmed off the ends of this one. but And they make fun little pre-snack snack. Awesome. But I'm going to do these on a bias like this. And you get this like nice little wheel here. Oh, yeah. that's cool. 
That looks so good. It's sort of like, well, it's um, like a pinwheel kind of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. People yeah. in the comments are loving. Oh, it's somebody called it a Puerto Rican cigar. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, actually. Yeah. Okay. So I forgot a big tip. Oh. Big tip. You should be preheating your oven right now. I have already preheated my oven because that's, you know, it's just second nature, right? right? But I'm sorry for those of you at home. That was a grand oversight on my part. Well, luckily, this is just a light. I snack. preheated mine to. Sorry. Sorry, say that one more time. I preheated mine to 400 just okay. because I like to eat quicker, I guess. I, I, I can't <laughs> Fast and there. furious, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and like I find. What's the harm in that? Oh, absolutely. And you know that goat cheese is going to be like so creamy. It's not going to give you that lactose trouble. It's going to be all so good. I mean, cheese would be fantastic. And such a perfect Cinco de Mayo thing. You're, you're really, uh, you're really killing the theme today. And Ivan's wondering what brought you to Halifax. I know. I was just feeling. Sorry. So, yeah, uh, we just have uh, Chef Ivan asking in the comments, uh, well, you guys have never met before, but I think that's that's going to change after this. But Ivan wants to know, uh, what brought you to Halifax? I mean, you're from Kitchener originally, and I know I know a little bit of your story, but just give everybody a little bit of your background of what brought you here and, and make sure you put something in the oven so it's cooking while we talk, too. That's important. Yeah, true. Um, well, this is ready to go in the oven, so I'll put Perfect that timing. in and then I'll tell you. I'm actually going to sprinkle more cheese, just so you know. <laughs> That's a pro move. So my partner, John, who is also a chef, uh, hails from here. And we were living in Australia, and we returned home, and he was really missing home. So I saved up some money and came to meet him out here. And I really wasn't expecting to stay here that long, but I landed a killer job at this really awesome restaurant called The Canteen on Portland. Um, and I work with some very wicked people. Um, we're actually uh, doing a community kitchen right now, which is fantastic. If you want to go out and donate, you can donate at the DartmouthFamilyCenter.ca. Um, yeah, I just, I just fell in love here. Um, so yeah, that's what's brought me and what's kept me here. Um, and I just love the ocean. It's great. Who wouldn't love the ocean? Right. I mean, I don't like being on the ocean. <laughs> but. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we, we <laughs> Alana and I've been on a kayaking trip before, uh, just off the coast, and uh, she and I have the same, like the same, you know. I think we both like a kayaking trip. We don't like too long of a kayaking trip. <laughs> <laughs> Those good times. Yeah, deep water is not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. Kind of cool fighting for your life at times. I don't know. It's a story. It's it's a story. That's that's for sure. Holy and and well, I met you through John, who I worked with at uh, at Two Doors Down, um, several, well, two time, two different times. And uh, well, full full disclosure to the audience, uh, John and some friends are playing D and D in the background. I don't know if you can hear them, but I will be joining that game on Friday night. So if you're ever looking for a nice socially distant activity during these. Uh, <laughs> it sure is. I almost joined last week as a villain. <laughs> That's awesome. I was gonna be, yeah, I was gonna be a surprise villain, but uh, didn't work out. Sadly. Well, you can do it sometime, but it won't be a surprise now. 
No. Well, do you think you'll remember? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some more people joining. Hey, Ted Tepper, Jamie McGauley. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, just for a recap for anybody who's, uh, who's just joining us, uh, Alana has just put some antihitos in the oven. And what are you making right now in your uh, your blender? This looks delicious. I am making kind of a salsa verde. I just grabbed a bunch of green herbs that were in my fridge, some garlic and some limes that were, you know, getting to be a little too ripe. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to blend it up because, you know, Again, I'm lactose intolerant, but uh, so you would usually eat sour cream with these, which is like, you know, sour cream is amazing, but yeah. I have to make something else. So I'm making a green sauce. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that's, it's kind of the great, like salsas and salsa verdes are great things to just, you don't have to follow a recipe all the time. Just, you know, throw things in the blender, give a little taste, maybe needs a little more acid, a little more salt, but it's always... It's, it's fun. That's the joy of cooking, right? It's just making it work. Slip slap it in a blender and just have some fun. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, you've got some fans of your knife uh, going on in the... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's give the knife some love. Oh, yeah. Check it out. This global bud. You guys and full house. disclosure, it's not mine. Uh, it's my boyfriend's, but we are a global house. I also have a global knife. Um, it is named Excalibur. It is a sword. It is amazing. Fantastic. Global for life. Global for life. All right, it's going to get a little noisy. All right, that's, that's all good. This is real. It's actually not that noisy. All right. Annalie Hart says, Lol, love you. And <laughs> <laughs> that's love from Australia, boys. Oh, wow. And Sue Harvey uh, is wondering what's in the cheese spread and in the blender. Mama is, uh, wait, Mama is asking. Mom, I will send you along the recipe. <laughs> it is a myriad of spices, um, goat's cheese, goat's cheese, uh, goat's cheddar, um, cilantro, lime, uh, peppers. All kinds of good stuff. All the yummy good stuff. All right. It must smell good in there now, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta check on them. Oh, heck yeah. Awesome. All right. I feel like, and then I'm gonna get this into here. We got also our there, green yeah. sauce. Uh, Nicole Jamison wants to know how long do the Puerto Rican cigars take to cook in the oven? What was that? Five, seven minutes? Yeah, so far I, I go like maybe 10 on uh, 400 and then I'm finishing in broiler. Nice. So you want to get that, you want some crispy bits and lots of proper melting. Yeah, I want the crispy bits. Some people don't want the crispy bits. I am all about the crispy bits. Life is crispy bits. You got to have those crispy bits. Yeah. Oh. So mm. Hey, Renee Lavallee just joined. Hello, Renee. It tastes good raw. Nice. Approved. Oh, Renee. Mm. Is it Renee approved? Well, I, I hope we'll find out. Oh, and Ivan is uh, is jealous. Why does Renee always have the cool staff? Well, I think, I don't know. I think Renee and Doug have a secret sauce. They got something figured out because it is, it is quite something to fill up a restaurant oh, with like-minded 
fun, cool, awesome people. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got to keep your kitchen clean too. By the way. Clean as you go. Shout out to Al Harvey. Thanks for teaching me well. Yeah. And shout out to Sneaky Pete, my uh, my little kitten, my fifteen year old kitten. Oh, hey, buddy. He he he. Whenever there's Cutie. cheese, even if it's in somebody else's apartment, he is looking for that cheese. I got my own sous chef here too. <gasps> this is sous chef Penny. Penny, how you doing, Penny? Oh, I miss you, Penny. Uh, you know what? I have, I have. I'm sorry, everybody. I know you want to see those antihitos, but we got to reunite our pets right now because. Well, and here you know, are. this is what you do when your way to things to cook is you play with your dogs. Absolutely. Have chats with friends. Hey, is that Penny? Look, there's she. Oh, <laughs> Penny, who's that? Is that Ruby? Oh, they're good friends. They're good friends. They need, <laughs> <laughs> they need to take turns chasing each other in the park someday soon. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. I feel like Penny's getting this. So. <laughs> Scoot your boot. Thanks, Penny. Oh boy. She's like She'll be in her trailer. She's a bit of a diva. <laughs> oh, we love Penny. There we go. There, Hugo's got a nice little perch now. Oh, Renee says she's great, that lady. Pretty sure she's talking about you. Thanks, Renee. <laughs> and Sue Harvey says dad is watching closely. So, uh, yeah, I think your dad's going to be making these for your mom in the future. <laughs> it's so fun like you know it's always been a dream of mine to wave to them through a screen but i guess i've been doing that for like two months already so. <laughs> yeah right three months this is uh the, i mean the, every week yep zoom calls has made everybody an expert on video chatting now and facetime and all that i know it's like well i mean I still feel like I haven't nailed down the delays. Same here. <laughs> here, I'll show you this way. Ooh. See, clean, more cheese. See how you're doing. Nice. All right. I'm going to say like another two, three minutes and we're good to go. Awesome. So we're making sure we got that. So do you have it on broil now? So it was on 400 and then you put it on some broil or what? It's on broil now. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So what have you been, uh, what have you been cooking at home? What's something you haven't like uh, cooked a lot of, or you have cooked a lot of, or something? What's one of your favorite things that you've been cooking during quarantine? Well, I did actually try to make tamales for the first time, and I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. um, I also tried to make empanadas with my friend Nicole, um, who is also a former chef of uh, Bymark and Canoe. Oh, cool. And we had, like, it probably took us about three hours. But, uh, yeah, by the end of it, I wasn't so pumped about, like, baking the empanadas, but they were so good. It was, you know. It was worth it. It was a labor of love, but it was worth it. Mm -hmm. I think my go-to has been this um, noodle salad. Ooh. So a Thai noodle salad, and it's super easy to do. Um, mango, um, red pepper, red onion, or green onion. Much of the stuff I have here now, that's probably why I have all that stuff. But um, And then I'll just make an easy vinaigrette out of peanut butter, uh, fish sauce, soy sauce, lime, oh, sugar, yeah. whatever I basically have. Right. And then just fresh cilantro. Um, and then if you want to make it a main, you can add like chicken or shrimp or whatever. And yeah, 
healthy, easy, delicious. Totally. And not a lot of people realize that peanut butter makes such a great vinaigrette. Especially if you had that funky fish sauce, yep. put that lime juice in there, a little bit of soy sauce, and you can thin it out with water or you thicken it back up with a little bit of oil, depending on what you want to do with it. And it's just such a great uh, flavor base for sure. Yeah. Well, it's like everybody's tastes are different too. So it's kind of fun to play around with being a little bit more heavy on this or heavy on that because some people might want more of the nutty flavor, more of the fish sauce flavor. Wow, look at you, eh? Yeah, I'm in a proper pet pile here. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers love pets, so I doubled up. <laughs> Snuggles. Snuggles. So I got Hugo and I got Sneaky Pete right here. They're good friends. And they're rarely this common. How did you think of Sneaky Pete? Well, Sneaky Pete actually came. To, he's um, originally Megan's sister's cat, and he came to live with us when uh, when uh, she started the van life for a year. Anyway, Sneaky grew up in a, a university town uh, under the in a, in a house with like six uh, six people, um, just sort of living under the bed, being very sneaky, stealing food, and just sort of very shy guy. So he's just naturally sneaky, um, but he is just the most loving, most um, what's the word? He's, he's just rappable. You can just like sling him wherever and he just stays. He just likes to be close. And he's got the loudest purr in proportion to body size that you've ever, I've ever seen in a cat. He's very loud purr. Aw. Yeah. Did you name him Sneaky Pete? No, he came with the name Sneaky Pete. Did he Pete? come Sneaky He came with it. Do you know the origin? Just that he was sneaky. That's all I know. Oh. <laughs> This was before the show on Amazon titled Sneaky Pete. There's a show called Sneaky Pete? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Free advertising. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see these. Oh, wow. All right. So let's see if you can. The oven light is not the best lighting, but here. Let me see what I can do here. Um, you see those? Am I getting in yeah, the Yeah, oh yeah. They look so good. You yeah, so they says Lynn. Mm -hmm. Super crispy, super ooey, super gooey. I'm going to plate them up. And then we'll put our green sauce on them. Nice. Put you guys back up here. Oh man, is this longer than 20 minutes? Have I taken up too much? We've been so chatty, Elena. We even brought the pets into it. You know, it's just turned into a whole thing. I just, no time limit. This is all good. I just we, missed you. Too, like we caught, well, what were you talking about? We were talking today just to go over this and we, we just kept chatting and now we're just keep chatting. It's anyway, I, I miss seeing you guys like for real in person. We used to um, play poker every week, and Cookie was like starting to get really, really good. So I don't know. It probably if ended I at the be right time. Or sad. <laughs> I don't know. You had you're the <laughs> shark. You have Atlanta. Everybody has a witching hour between nine and ten. Uh, it starts with her putting her playlist <laughs> on Spotify and ends with her taking your money. So if you start to to hear a little Fleetwood Mac, <laughs> look out. All right, I am gonna show you this right now. Oh yeah, everybody thinking that looks awesome. Oh, um, Brandon McLeod was wondering, what's your favorite food to make? Is this one of your favorites? Oh. Um, I really like s making sauces. Yeah. Like sauces, like when I had was working at Bymark as a saucier, I was like living my dream. I love making sauces. I like making curry sauces, like anything. I just think building on flavors and having something that's like so comforting. Yeah. I made butter chicken for the first time crazily. I, I, I've never made it and I made it last week and I had made it lactose free as well, um, which was crazy but i just did coconut cream and then i did ghost cheese as the zinginess instead of yogurt 
Um, and then what else did I put in there? You could almost call it um, nutter some chicken. Some sort of like vinegar. Yeah, like it was so good. Oh, I bought lactose free butter and just put like heaps oh, cool. of it in there. But yeah, I just like making anything very comforting, really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what these <laughs> antihitos are. Let's, uh, well, let's see you take a bite of that plate. That look uh, of one of those antihitos. It looks so good. Mm. All right. They're really hot. <laughs> okay, I won't get you. I won't make you burn your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. No, but like, I mean, sort of unsatisfying for you guys if I make them and I'm just like, hey, here they are, and like, don't Is take it. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. What? Yeah. yeah. The like. Salsa Verde was actually a really good choice because it is so rich and gooey. Yeah. All the lime and like the fresh like cut into it. So definitely. But you know what? Just throw a dollop of sour cream on there if you if you can anyways. A little you know? indulgence, yes. Sour cream. Sour cream is yeah. I mean I I don't want to talk it up in front of you because you can't have very much, but man, I love sour cream. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what it's like. <laughs> it's like, it's, you know, when people are like, oh, you know, it's hard when you get intolerances and then someone's like, oh, this gluten-free bread's like so much better than regular bread. And you're like, stop lying to yourself. Yeah. Like, please don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> you're not helping. <laughs> of course, you would rather have the cream cheese instead of ghost cheese right now, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> Well, what's kind of great, I love it, uh, about this snack is you can actually, I mean, it depends on how prepared you are ahead of time, but I like how you had one like rolled up all ready to go. So you could like make two or three of them at a time, put them in the fridge, and you get like three nights of snacks ready to go. Yeah. Well, it's actually better if you have your cheese mixture sitting longer so this is can like really sit in with your mix. Right. Um, and it just holds a nice when. I mean, you do this, but if you have that time, I think really, like, right. There you go. There you go. Well, Alana, it's been so awesome having you on Late Night Snack. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Okay. Hugo must have heard something. Both animals are gone now. Um, but that looks so good. And you've got some fans in the comments here. Uh, Brand McLeod's going to get the details from you. Haley Poirier. <laughs> uh wants to wants to get together and make those uh when they're when you're allowed to uh in the future so that that's awesome anyway thanks again for uh for watching everybody alana thank you so much for making some awesome antihitos thanks for having that me ah, it, was, it was it was a pleasure and uh thanks to everybody watching and um tell that uh that nerdy dnd crew in the background that i will talk to them on friday for some xp i will <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot and uh, take care. I'll see you and Penny soon. See ya. See ya. Yeah, hopefully. Bye. Bye. That's